Hey guys, welcome back. It's another week on the homestead and we're doing more firewood again, as you can see behind me. But I gotta fill, I'm gonna hope, try to see how much I can get the trailer filled, if I can even get it filled. I can't move it, because I need the loader to move it. Um, but the loader's kinda out of commission until I can figure out where my hydraulic leak is. So I figured I'll run through a cycle of batteries today. Um, we took, yesterday was a full day at home, but we took it off to do some project planning and some discussions and just kind of come up with a, a budget for how we want, for our things that we want to get done and what's on our agenda for the, for the next, uh, year to year or so and kind of get everything laid out and idea what everything's going to cost us so that we can start planning accordingly. And so we can start tackling these projects as, uh, as money comes in. So. But for today, I'm gonna to do some firewood, and then once I'm done with the firewood, I'm gonna to try to see if I can get that loader up on some logs, just so I can get underneath it and drop the belly pan. And uh, that's kind of the plan for this weekend, and probably do oil changes on the vehicles today, or at least this weekend, between today and tomorrow. So, be kind of just some small projects, but I'll bring you along as I can. Like I said, normally I'm not gonna record much of the much of that stuff other than just update you where we're at and uh, but I'll bring you along with some of the other projects that we decide to do besides the firewood so we'll be back hi guys it's probably about I don't know about maybe 4 or 4 30 ish in the afternoon and I'm on my second batch here took a break for some lunch late lunch but the wagon is full. I honestly didn't think I was gonna get it full today. I really didn't. I, I thought for sure that I was gonna think I was gonna get it full and then find out, sorry, it's not full. So that is perfectly fine. I am happy with that. My batteries, I went through all my batteries to get that full load. So two rounds today, get it now. I have to get over there to work on the loader and get that thing up off the ground so I can get underneath it and uh, take a look at the belly, drop the belly pan and see if I can figure out which hydraulic hose is leaking because uh, I'm dumping flu fluid just as fast as I'm adding it so I don't want to wreck the hydraulic mo the hydraulic pumps on that thing um, by having it running low on hydraulic. It, it gets itself around but it definitely is starting to make noise and grinding, groaning so I know I know it's low but so that's going to be the only thing I'll start it up, get it up on the logs, and then uh, then it's going to sit there until I figure out which hose it is and see if we can get that thing fixed. But I don't know if I'm going to do that today. My back is pretty tired, so I think I'm going to rest tonight instead. I got, there's still some logs down there. I got a couple of nice sized logs. There's like four yet over here. Plus is a really nice one, but I think I'm gonna save that one over there for the sawmill. It's it's a pretty good size, but yeah, there's there's one there, there's another log underneath, there's another log right there, there's one, two logs there, and that'll be pretty well cleaned up. But yeah, this one over here, I'll take you over here. It is a nice big log that I, I wanna save. And make some posts out of if I can but that's probably about uh, oh I don't know well now that I look at it I don't think I'll be able to save it the woodpeckers have been busy on it I'll show you it's full of woodpecker holes so they're going after the budworm larva that's in here so this this tree is probably already starting to get punky so it ain't gonna be worth milling it. So I'll just cut it up and get any get wood firewood I can out of it and get things cleared out. But yeah, getting there. And then once that tree's done, then uh, that'll be it for wood that I have down. But we still have to drop wood. There's trees around the shed that we're gonna drop yet, but the frost is still gotta come out. I mean, the frost is starting to come out of the ground. I don't know if it's fully out yet or not, but I'm not going to, until I get this cleaned up and I get all my firewood out of here, I don't want to make any more of a mess because I think what I'm going to do with those is when I drop them, I'm going to drop them and just lop them, top, take the tops off, take the trunk, and I'm going to pull the root balls and all out of the ground 
just push them over and like I did with these just there's just tons of roots and it's just so much easier to push the tree over with the loader roots and all and then just cut the rip ball off and then we can just pile these up and burn these when we get a chance but it's going to be clean up stuff and we'll get to that but it, it means that I don't have to come back and try to dig the stumps out later I can take the whole rip ball and everything with the tree trunk and it just makes for a cleaner um, excavation and then I'll, like I said I'm going to top them take the tops off lop the rip balls off so that the stumps are ready to get burned up and then I'll probably you know delim everything and stack them because some of these I think I'm going to use for some timbers others we talked about possibly saving um, and building a little once we get some clearing building a little like uh, 12 by 12 or 14 by 14 log cabin um, using some of the windows that we have that don't work for the house and something like that put a door in it window in it that type of thing so that's what we're thinking at least um, just be a dry cabin um, place to sleep place to a little wood stove maybe just places for somebody to stay if the kids come up and visit and they want to have their own little private space but we're thinking about that because that doesn't cost us much to do and if we got the logs for it and we got the firewood all put up then that's what we'll use those logs for if we still need firewood then we'll cut those logs up for firewood instead so firewood is going to be our priority this year first and foremost get that done in as much as we can and then squeeze in projects while we're charging up the batteries so if I do anything more tonight, I'll bring you along. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back to another day. We're out working on some more firewood. I actually restocked, or restacked, I should say, trailer to kind of get more of a height out of the back so it didn't fall out, which freed up this whole corner. You know, this corner needs to be stacked, but I did some kindling. I took some really short stuff and got some other stuff in here that's dry to go in the house. But this whole front part is all kindling. Just because we're in that time of year now where we light a fire at night and then that's all we heat. You know, it's been cold during the day this week. You know, this this the last few days have been, you know, the highs have only been like 40s. Today, I think we're supposed to get close to 50 today, but it's kind of breezy. It's a little chilly yet. I think it's... Uh, I'm guessing it's probably about 39, 40 degrees right now in the morning. It's mid-morning right now. I did some stuff um, with our videos this morning trying to get some stuff caught up. But yeah, so I'm going to fill the trailer back up. Going to get this all filled back up. I got some. I got two batteries left to go. I'm still, I just got done with my first one. But I got that much cut up. So I'm going to get this split up, and then I'll load another battery, and I'm going to cut that log on the top there, right here. Get that cut up as much as I can. Get that split up, and that should fill it. But I don't, there isn't enough here to fill another trailer. So I have a feeling that what we drop, the more I look at it, you know, my estimating, let me try that again. My estimating of what we need for firewood and how this fills the trailer, all that that's around the shed here on that side and back here, this big tree we're gonna leave, eventually that, that birch there we're gonna drop. I mean, I hate to drop it, it's a nice tree, but it's in the way um, from, and it's just too close to the shed. If it starts falling or the wind takes and snaps off those top branches, it's gonna land right on the shed. So we're gonna do our 50 foot perimeter on either side and then we're going to do probably 60 feet maybe 70 feet on the back side because that's where most of our wind comes from um, and that way we get a little bit more of a buffer plus eventually we're going to have a lean-to off the back to put the sawmill and have a place to dry wood out of the weather out of the sun you know so that'll be on the back side we're going to do a lean-to off the back and then eventually off this side here that we're looking at um, we're going to build some type of lean-to I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do it yet but some type of lean-to there um, to put the shipping container next to it and then we're going to get look at maybe getting another shipping shipping container for storage and 
so we'll we'll come out quite a bit farther this way and, and have a spot basically between the shipping containers is going to be a spot for the plow um, that's the plan there is to have the plow truck in there maybe we'll put the loader on the back side we'll just see I mean it's going to be open end so we can drive through um, but that's kind of what we're thinking is is to have the, the dump truck under cover so it's not sitting out in the sun all the time and in the weather so but yeah so I'm going to work on this and see how far I get today and so it's not a real exciting video week. We're just kind of plugging away at chores and getting things done. Hey guys, so I get an update. Neighbor was nice enough to come and help me get some timbers out so I can get the loader going and uh, get that up on some timbers so that I can actually get underneath it and drop the belly pan. So I won't get that today at all. But and while he was here, brought the trailer up to the woodshed, and as you can see. It's empty, other than some bark. But restocked out the house with some stuff that was pretty much dry already. But we got two rows in here stacked. And this is gonna take a while. <laughs> this is where it gets kind of defeating. Oh, is, uh, you know, it just seems like we spend a couple weeks doing the one load and we get that. But thought I'd point out in case you're wondering um <laughs> i want to say the wife's beating me up but it was actually she did but it was an accident she uh she was she didn't realize i was behind her messing with one of the cats and she turned around and elbowed me in the eye so yeah i got a little bit of a black eye going here as you can see so forgive that <laughs> But you gotta laugh at it you know it is what it is i just say well she's beating me up but not intentionally of course it was purely accidental but i gotta find humor in it that's kind of what we're doing find humor in things we do but yeah so a wagon load it takes about a one and a half or two and a half wagon loads to fill up the shed so i always said two to three i figured three if i'm lucky but you know that's only one and say three, six, seven, I figure I got seven more loads and that was a lot of wood that I dropped to begin with. So it's gonna take a lot more wood than what I anticipated for to get this filled up again. But that's okay. I mean, we got plenty of trees to drop yet and get cleaned up, but I got a lot more stuff to, that I still gotta clean up around the property that is already down. I just gotta collect it, get it cut up and split and load in the trailer and but i think the next project will be working on uh, the loader to get that going again so that we don't have to you know ask the neighbors for help and just be able to do things ourselves again but i do appreciate neighbor is nice to it we've got really good neighbors both right next door and then across the road we got some great neighbors so i think we've always like i've told jody i said every place i've ever lived um, I've always had really, I've luck, been lucked out and always had really good neighbors, um, very friendly, very helpful, um, cared, you know, so I, I've been pretty blessed to have good neighbors and I'm thankful for the neighbors that we have up here. And they're actually neighbors, they're, you know, Jason property, so, but, so that's probably going to be it for me today. I don't know if I'm going to get much more done. I'm going to add in, Jody did some planting seeds a while back. She did a little video, so we're going to add that in here to get that done, get that out. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with us, and uh, we'll kind of keep plugging away and kind of take you along as we do and see where our next projects go. It's just we're just kind of winging it right now, being firewood with our primary um, goal right now. So, but yeah, that's going to be enough for tonight. So we'll see what we get done tomorrow, if anything. Otherwise, we'll talk to you tomorrow.